Well, in another worrying sign that the U.S. could get pulled into a potential wider conflict across the region, U.S. officials tonight say a Navy warship in the Red Sea intercepted and shot down several missiles and drones that were launched from Yemen. CBS's David Martin reports from the Pentagon that the intended target was believed to be Israel. The USS Kearney fired the American military's first shot in what threatens to become a wider Middle East war. Shooting down drones and cruise missiles fired in the direction of Israel by Iranian-backed rebels in Yemen. USS Kearney, operating in the northern Red Sea earlier today, shot down three land attack cruise missiles and several drones that were launched by Houthi forces in Yemen. The Kearney, which had been with the aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford off the coast of Israel, got there just in time. Passing through the Suez Canal on Wednesday, and arriving in the northern Red Sea where it had a clear shot as the drones and missiles flew north. We cannot say for certain what these missiles and drones were targeting, but they were launched from Yemen, heading north along the Red Sea, potentially towards targets in Israel. In the last two days, there has also been a series of drone attacks on American troops in Iraq and Syria, attacks which are usually the work of Iranian-backed militias. One of them turned out to be a false alarm but resulted in the death of an American contractor who suffered a cardiac arrest. In past attacks, when an American has been killed, the U.S. has retaliated with airstrikes. The Pentagon is considering a retaliatory strike again, but is faced with a dilemma that any military action might set off exactly what President Biden is trying to avoid, a wider Middle East war. Nora? That's why this is significant. David Martin, thank you very much.